What's up guys, it's Chris, and today I'm finally going to do a tutorial that people have been asking for for over a year now. So, we're going to get started. You already know the name of the video, you already know what we're going to do, so we'll just jump right in. First of all, you want to make sure you have your video, of course, in the timeline here. Also, I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 8. It should work on any one because the settings will be the same. Anyway, now what you will do after you edit it and have it like you want it, you'll go up here to File and render as and then from here you can save it in my documents wherever you want to save it but you want to select mp4 and go to custom from here you want to select the vi video rendering quality as best go to the video tab and here go to custom frame size now the custom frame size is going to be 1280 by 720 that's HD video quality you can go higher but you would need a more expensive camcorder so we're just gonna go for this and this will give you HD quality you'll leave all this the same except right here you want to change this to custom bitrate change it from the 768 to 400,000 then from there you will go down to audio and the bitrate for the audio, you want to change it to 320. That will give you CD quality audio. Of course, you can go higher, but 320 is sufficient for what you want to do, which is upload to YouTube. And from here, you can go and change this to YouTube render or anything you want. And you can just take out all this and put whatever you want to we'll just go with YouTube and hit the save button after you click OK you will now notice that under template there is a YouTube render that will save it so you don't have to go through that every time you want to render a video then just name it whatever you want to and hit the save button it will then render your video in 1280 by 720 resolution and HD quality with 320 bitrate audio which is perfect for YouTube. You can then have the YouTube HD option so people can watch your videos in HD. You can see my ducks right up there in the right corner. But that should conclude this tutorial. I hope you found it helpful. And I will see you in the next one.